In this video, we talk about new techniques in liposuction. Patients like this can be difficult to treat. She has too much fat for non-invasive techniques like pool sculpting and standard liposuction will not address her skin excess. Using new, state-of-the-art techniques in body contouring, we can correct both her fat excess and contour deformities as well using a simple, minimally invasive technique. The first step in this technique is to infuse a large amount of dilute local anesthetic solution into the planned areas that we liposuctioned. This will help keep pain under control during the procedure and will also make it easier to remove the fat. The fluid that is infused into the patient contains saline, local anesthetic, and also epinephrine which will minimize bruising postoperatively. This will also help keep the patient comfortable during the procedure. Power assist liposuction differs from standard liposuction in that the cannula on a power assist device oscillates back and forth at high frequency. This makes it much easier to remove the fat. We first begin with the exploded tip cannula which is shown on the left. The standard Mercedes tip cannula is shown on the right. The exploded tip cannula is inserted first and is used without the suction turned on. This cannula is very aggressive and is usually used without suction so that it does not create contour deformities in the skin. By passing the cannula through the areas that will be liposuctioned in the next step, the fat is broken up and is much easier to remove. During this step, the left hand is always on the patient in contact with the cannula so that the cannula is guided precisely during this dissection. We usually use a 4 or 5 mm exploded tip cannula which is passed in through the same holes as the tumescent cannula and later the Mercedes tip liposuction cannula. Once this step is complete, the fat is much softer and is ready to be removed with a liposuction. Next, the Mercedes tip cannula is placed onto the power assist liposuction and now the fat is actually removed. You can see the yellow fat flowing through the tube that is connected to the cannula. Once again, the left hand guides the dissection and ensures proper placement of the cannula. It is extremely important to be precise in both cannula placement and also the amount of fat that is removed so that contour deformities are not created. Once the planned amount of fat has been removed, the exploitative cannula is placed once again and this is used to break up and smooth out the remaining fat. This helps achieve a smooth contour and minimizes deformities. Finally, the cannula insertion holes are closed with simple suture. This picture was taken six months postoperatively. You can see she has significant correction of her anterior abdomen and both of her flanks. She looks noticeably slimmer on the lateral view as well. You can see that not only does she have a significant reduction of fat in her back, but the skin has contracted and she has a noticeable improvement in contour as well. These results would not be achievable with non-invasive techniques or standard liposuction.